Hi, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're at the end of the year, ladies and gentlemen. We're not back until next week. So tonight is our last night of breaking on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Last night of the year. And we're doing six box 2018-19 prison basketball. It's a six box mixer. Three different kinds of prison basketball are in this break. Mixed in together, this is pick your team three. Now, I'm sure everybody read the item description. If you bought at least two teams, you get one entry for a chance at the Dallas Mavericks. Four teams will get you two entries. Six teams will get you three, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go to the list here. Let's alphabetize everyone's, this column by everyone's first names. So Andrew got two. He gets a chance at the Mavs. John Samuelson got two. He's got a chance. So does Chris. Josie got four, so that's two. Ken has a shot. Martin has a shot. Martin C. Michael P. has a shot. Richard has four spots, so he has two shots. Rick Barker has four. He's got two shots. And Scott, you've got one. All right, 13 on this list right here. There we go. A couple people with multiple spots. All right, let's randomize. Name on top, we'll get it after. After we randomize it three times. Like a three-pointer. Or a two-pointer and one. One. Two. And the third and final time. Good luck and congrats to Josie. There you go, after three times. Mr. Marn with that one. And we'll put a little symbol next to your name to let you know you got that in that spot randomizer. Congrats. And now it's alphabetized by team. Let's print and let's rip. Good luck, everybody. All right, and here are the six boxes right here. So two boxes of this retail. And what is, I forgot what these ones are called. You call these... Uh, super value rack pack editions. Those are those right there. And then we've got the regular two hobby editions in the back as well. All right, so here is the final printout. So these are all 1819 Panini Prism Basketball. So that is um, obviously the current draft class. Do I need a checklist up for this break? I don't think so. I think I know most of the most of the folks. Let's start with one of these. I don't know what I don't know what's in here. We're gonna find out. Oh, there it is. So these have the uh, the red, white, and blues in there. I have to open packs to open packs. All right, good luck, everybody. What am I watching on TV here? Oh, screws and a bone. 
That's a crazy graphic. All right, for those of you who watch more college football than I do, I know this is a basketball break, but it is bowl season. For those of you who watch more college football than I do, and I watch almost none, um, is this to a kid? Is this kid NFL ready? Is he going to be successful in the NFL, in, in your opinions? Marty says no. John Samson says Tua needs another year before you can really tell. Marty says he may be successful in the NFL eventually, but not right now. Right, okay, so you and John are kind of in agreement. May need another another year to see what we really have. Marty saying the only good defense he faced all year was Georgia. And he was terrible against them. And that was a close one, right? John Tamis is saying, Joe, happy 2018. Your first year of group breaks and getting back into the hobby. Welcome back. I'm glad that, well, hopefully we've been able to help a little bit this year to add to that new collection. Yeah, it has been a great year. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of new faces turning into regulars. A lot of regulars still still with us for many years. Another year in the books, regulars, and a lot of new faces hopefully becoming regulars at some point. We're always adding adding little new faces week by week, month by month. That that is true, John Samuelson. Yeah, if you if we weren't pulling things for you, yeah, you wouldn't be here. Uh, TJ, who is an Oklahoma guy, um, how do I how do I get a ride on that 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 covered wagon? How do you who who does who gets who gets to do that? seems fun all right gotta gotta get my head in basketball mode now all right good luck everybody there's Mo Wagner silver D Wade green nice Barkley Marcin Gortat, Milos Teodosic. We'll set some of those rookie silvers aside. Sometimes those could have some pretty big value if it's the top rookies, like this guy. We'll still save one of these. I think that base card could still sell for like five bucks. Silvers will sell for a lot more. So, yeah, the Sooner Schooner. Is that what they really call it, John Samson? The Sooner Schooner? TJ says he's got to know people. Like, what people? Like, how high up? Like, I think DeAndre Ayton Green. DeAndre Ayton Green goes to the Suns. That'll be for Rick Barker. He's been looking for ink for that guy for a little bit. Do I need to know, like, the president of the university? Athletic director?
Do those horses travel? Are they from Oklahoma and they travel all the way to to Miami? Or do they rent horses from that area? So many things I need to know. <laughs> Colin Sexton. TJ saying, TJ saying, I'll say this. I know our defense sucks, but the last time Alabama beat Oklahoma, Broadway Joe was the QB. I mean, everyone thinks that Alabama's going to win, right? That's probably probably true. But it's not a foregone conclusion. We've got to play the game, right? All right. Uh, no, that was just the first box, Rick. Nothing huge as of yet. These are the red, white, and blue parallels, which are really cool. I like these. Are we are we taking are we taking uh, Oklahoma cheerleaders over Alabama cheerleaders? Just that just from that panning camera shot, I think I'd lean, lean Oklahoma. As a group, they've got that horse there. That horse is pretty cool. I told you guys my my buddy was the. Uh, was the uh, was Harry Dog for Georgia for a little bit? Will these red, white, and blue? Of course they are. That's why I'm opening up the packs. Otherwise, I just throw them away. This guy had a big game-winning three against my Lakers the other night. We'll set aside some of these rookies right here. It's an interesting start. Mark Matheson says, Ole Miss girls are the best. All right. And, and Mar Marty's saying, I don't know anything that beats SEC girls. Someone's got to keep track of... Well, we got to fill up six. We have an Orange Bowl promo going on tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Brought to you by Capital One. No, it's not, we're not sponsored by Capital One. Um, the Orange Bowl is, though. But we do have a, a Orange Bowl promo going on. Go to jazbeescasebreaks.com for the details. We do have to fill up at least six breaks to unlock any bounties. This is just like our Thursday Night Football bounty promo. But... I have it all on my suggested breaks list, so if you have that spreadsheet saved, then you'll be able to see a big list there too. But certain things have to happen for each team. They're basically prop bets. And so if certain things hit, then we un that unlocks break credit, which we randomize to you. And only the people that are involved in breaks that fill are eligible. Good luck, folks. I've got NBA picks for you tonight. I've got, uh, I'm taking the Pelicans. I took a position on the Pelicans. They're hosting Houston. 
They are at home, though. So Pelicans plus 138. I don't do spreads. I know it's basketball is traditionally a spread sport, but I don't know. I'm weird like that. Uh, I took the slight dogs. I've been pretty much even. Took the Washington Wizards hosting Charlotte Hornets. Took the uh, Atlanta Hawks at minus 180. They're hosting Cleveland. I took a... Uh, I, I took a very small position on the New York Knicks, plus 600 in Utah. Now, they're, not gonna, they're probably not going to win. But if they do, sometimes, you know, you can luck out on those big underdogs. Taking Denver minus 180 in Phoenix. Denver Nuggets have been playing some good basketball. And I took the Portland Trailblazers, plus 165, straight up, to beat the Golden State Warriors. They are hosting the Golden State Warriors. Portland is consider considerably better at home. And Golden State Warriors, not quite the Golden State Warriors. I don't know how any of those games are. I know some of those games are, are, are we're in the middle of those games. Oh, no. so we got halftime in Washington. They're leading 67-61. All right, so I'm, I'm okay there. Now, these picks probably, they're, they're not going to... I shouldn't even bother checking halftime scores. All, all these... Will be decided in like the last five minutes of the game anyway. Pelicans are uh, trailing by three at half. At the half, Rockets are leading 53 to 50 over the Pelicans. Second quarter, nine minutes left in the second quarter. Atlanta 34, Cleveland 32. What other games are going on here? I think other games have just started. That Utah game is just starting. Memphis Grizzlies and the Celtics have just started up. And the Denver Phoenix, Golden State Portland are the two later games. Denver Phoenix starting about an hour. If you're watching live, starting about 45 minutes. Golden State Warriors, 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 o'clock Eastern. We've got contenders basketball in the store, ladies and gentlemen. JaspiePaceBreaks.com. And they are... Um, and they are... Uh, I think that break is at, what, three teams left? Five teams left? Something like that? You can definitely knock that out tonight. Mark Mass is saying four spots left in Contenders 3. All right, so Hoops fans, get into the action. A lot of great secondary market value in Hoops if you get the, if you get the right teams, of course. But even some of the not-so-right teams got good opportunities as well. Supply and demand, not too many players in the NBA compared to, say, the NFL, right? So more chances for, these, uh, for even second-tier rookies to eventually shine. Yes, John Samuelson saying, Joe, John Wall out for the year. What gives with that? Signs a big contract and kind of whines and doesn't any, do anything max contract worthy. That is, it is very confusing. I mean, I, you would have to think that he's legitimately injured and it just, it's just bad optics because he's just kind of been whinging and whining. Now he's going to look for a big contract. And they got to blow that team up. They gave it a shot. They got some good individuals there, but it's just collectively, it's just not working. You know, you hear all sorts of all sorts of rumors that, that 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 locker room is not very good. You know, Le, uh, LeBron, John Wall has been there for a while, and he hasn't really he hasn't really produced. Or, I mean, he scored he scored some you know amazing has some amazing games, scores a lot of points, but hasn't really taken that team to the next level. Not really doesn't seem like a leader. So I don't know what's going to happen with him. Is this, a, is this the last year of his contract? Last year of his deal? If it's the last year of his deal, you got to think that... Uh... Oh, he just signed the max last year? Oh. Watch the Wizards do better without him. Remember, he actually was injured last year for a minute or two, right? That's a mistake, by the way. Josh Hart, not a rookie. And then it was kind of funny because I think, like, 
when Bradley Beal was that Bradley Beal and the rest of the gang like actually had like a week stretch where they were playing a lot better without John Wall. <laughs> they got to blow that team up. Patrick Goodwin saying they should let Draymond Green go. Why? Just because he had a poor start to the season? We're not even halfway through the season, Patrick. And and, and people wonder why, why athletes aren't loyal to their teams. And the fans are like, hey, two months of crappy basketball after you delivered titles? Let him go. Uh, Patrick Goodwin saying, Joe, do you think LeBron James is a winny baby? A winner? Yeah, he is a winner. He's a winner, baby. A winny baby. Just winning. Left and right. Unless he runs into the Warriors. Oh, th these are some great animal mascots we have here. I didn't realize, forgot, I, I just forgot that Alabama had that elephant. What, what, what mascot is more adorable, ladies and gentlemen? Ask your kids, what do they think? The horse for Oklahoma or that elephant for Alabama? Both are pretty cool. John Sampson likes the elephant. No, Marty doesn't like the elephant. Uh, the, the the trunk is a little a, a little saggy, isn't it? Doesn't look like it's trumpeting. Look at that. that. One Alabama cheerleader has a knee brace on. She's playing through the pain, folks. There you go. Playing through the pain. I like that. It's like it's game day. Gotta go. There must be a slew of... Uh, there must be a ton of YouTube videos of the dudes accidentally dropping like the girls on like throws, right? There has to be. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Patrick goes with the elephant. Is everyone going with the elephant? I thought the horse was kind of cool too. Does that elephant have a name? And does the uh, does the Oklahoma horse have a name? Oh, and this is, we did, those are the hang, hang, pa hanging pa retail packs. We're now in Prism Retail. We're going to do two boxes of that. This has one autograph per box. Those ones aren't guaranteed autographs per whatever. And then um, we'll go into the hobby version, two hobby versions. Not that John Tamison was watching, but he would have to go with SEC cheerleaders over the Oklahoma crew. Maybe, I don't know. We'll have to get a roster a little bit later. She's probably juicing, says William. You think so? Should I, should I kick her off my fantasy cheerleader team? I don't know why I drafted her in the first place. All right, we'll have, we'll have to do some scientific research a little bit later. For science, folks, for science. Not ogling, science. The guys, too. We'll judge the guys, too. Make it equal. Just put her in the IR spot, but what, she gets suspended for the season. That's no good to me if I want to win my fantasy cheerleader championship. Well, not only is this a family show, John Samson, this, this is a show uh, about knowledge. Uh, we, a quest for knowledge. Is what I think we're all. You're an educator, John, right? What do we want? We want to learn every day. When you're not learning something new every day, 
You may as well, you may as well be dead. Throw the, oh, Kyler. All right. This also has those green parallels in there too, which are uh, exclusive to those two versions that we just saw. That's right, John Sanders, hashtag lifelong learner. Always gotta be learning. Always gotta be learning. If that means we have to go search for the cheerleader rosters for both Oklahoma and Alabama, I will I will make that sacrifice in the in the quest for knowledge. If that's what I have to do, that's what I'll have to do. You know what I mean? We're always gotta be learning. Someone's gotta do it. Chandler Hutchinson, Emergent Green. Let's save one of those Kevin Knoxes. So if we find one of the silver ones for these for these rookies, you'd be surprised. If you're not familiar with the collecting of basketball, you'd be surprised at how well they do on a secondary market. Right, John Thomas will be like, I will he he will he will do God's work. And search the internet high and low, even Google Images, to see which cheerleaders wore it best, Alabama or Oklahoma. This is for science. It is definitely for science. You know, research is not, uh, I mean, um, for those of you who, who are perhaps in research, research is not a, not a sexy thing, you know. Research is not sexy, but it's got to be done, you know. You think you think it's easy coming up with basketball picks every night? It's not, but you know I gotta do my research. Do we not see an auto in this? Where is the auto? Points. All right, so that takes that replaces the auto. Um, if we get more than one of these points, we will uh, we will collect them all as one lot. It'll be randomized to one person in the break. All right, next retail box. But yeah, it requires research. Lawyers will tell you that legal research is probably one of the most important things in preparing for a case. It's crucial. And so for questions that need to be answered, especially important ones like ours, got to put in that work, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Marty says, start around South Carolina, run along the coast, all the way up through Oregon, and skip New Mexico. If I have to do that kind of research, Marty, we'll have to do it. It's going to be tough, folks. I know, it's a lot of hard work, but someone's got to do it, boys and girls. I'm sure someone's done this already. Isn't This must be, this must be like a, a Maxim magazine, like top 500 or something like that, top 100. Oh yeah, we're not even close to the to the big hit ones. The, the big hits are in here. The hang tag ones, the 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 rack packs. There's no there's almost I don't think there's even autos in there. The rack packs don't have autos in there. The, we were just searching for those nice parallels. The retail is a little bit of a step up, but really the big hits, we're going to find them in there. Wow, John Samson will, may not even skip New Mexico in his research. You know, maybe we'll collect some images in a in a in a, in a folder. You know, mark taxes or something like that. all over the place. Sorry. It is God's work. That's right. It's a tough job. Someone's got to do it. Someone's got to look at rate and rank cheerleaders, college cheerleaders. It's for our fantasy cheerleader teams, ladies and gentlemen. I was like, why am I sideways?
Oh, we got... There's our auto right there. Alan Crabb for the Brooklyn Nets. That'll be for Martin C. Was there a Silver Lillard? You want me to save that Silver Lillard for you? Oh, there it is. Merry Christmas. It'll be top loaded before it goes out. up Joe P yeah absolutely no we're not breaking on New Year's Eve I'll be break I'll be I'll be breaking some bottles of Moe Joe P breaking empty bottles of Dom bam that's what I'll be breaking all right Hobby box time. Two autographs and 22 prisms. You want to break together, Joe P? Break bottles of Dom? Dom Perignon? Moe? I'll do it. Chandon? I'm down. Let's bust that open. Fire off some guns? Indiscriminately in the air. Only towards open areas, so I don't want to. I don't want to hurt anybody. All right, that sounds a great idea. I'll, 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 I'll bring the bottles of champs, and you'll provide the guns. Good. Sounds like a good deal. Just, just get loaded with some loaded guns. Sounds like a great idea. I'll squeeze. I'll, 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 uh, I'll be over in Arizona before you know it. Huh? We'll save one of these two, John Samuelson. We gotta find a monster out here, ladies and gentlemen. There's Kevin Hervey. That's out of 199. And nice, Kevin Knox. There you go. It's a nice one for the Knicks. That'll go out to Rick Barker in the New York Knicks. There you go, Rick. Uh, why do why do they fire off guns in the city? John remembers when the Bulls won a championship in the '90s, was up on the roof, and you could see people firing out their window. That's not safe. I don't know. Probably because firecrackers aren't loud enough, John. And you don't want to end up like like uh, Jason Pierre-Paul. Nice Nikola Jokic. 7 out of 10 on that one. Nice. That goes to Denver. That'll be for Mike Tobin. And the SGA, Shea Gilgis Alexander. Solid one for Richard Johansson, the clip show. He's been playing some good basketball. Kevin Hervey again, different one, down to two ninety nine. 
Red Wave, Kevin Knox. Maybe there were blanks, John Samuelson. Reserved, uh, reserved only for, uh, reserved only for special occasions. Markel Fultz. What's going on with Markel Fultz? A weird shoulder issue. There's Miles Bridges, Red Wave. He hasn't really got his career going. There's nice hyper prism, Jaron Jackson Jr. And there's Coach Luke Walton. What's up, Coach? Little Laker Joe Mojo going to Michael Palacio. There you go, Michael Peep. Blanks killed the Crow, says well, That's what they want you to believe, William. Out of 149, Terrence Ross. KG, Kevin Love, Chris Paul, Harrison Barnes in the back right there. Future X coach, what are you talking about? Coach for the next 20 years. <laughs> Poor Luke Walton. Does everyone just think he's just going to be axed? Last box, six box, Prism Basketball. Got a nice Kevin Knox in here, some nice parallels. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for grabbing your teams. You don't think, you don't think LeBron likes Luke Walton? They seem to get along, be getting along okay. He's a pretty solid coach. Yeah, he's not bad, John Samuelson. Luke Walton's coaching career will last longer than LeBron's playing career. I would I would side with Luke. All right, good luck everybody. Jeff Teague It's out of 149. PG, DeRozan. I see like a Luca Silver would be great too. Tim Duncan. There's Lonnie Walker the fourth out of 49. Nice one for the Spurs. That'll be for uh, Josie. I think I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying that right. Otto Porter Jr. Red, that's the 299. There's Yao Ming Red Wave. Bron loves coaches. He wants to collect them all like they're like they're Pokemon. There's Josh Kogi for the Timberwolves. That autograph goes to Andrew Hennessy. He didn't get rid of Spolstra. Spolstra was fine. Yeah, he's not a coach killer. Mm -hmm. 
with Lonnie Walker Silver. Dante Exum for the Jazz. That's out of 99. DiVincenzo. Alonzo Trier. And another Laker, Mo Wagner. He's got to work on that. Lakers, that goes to Michael. Lakers with a couple autos in this break. And now let's see what we're going to end with here. Some blue. A Ricky Rubio to 199. Marcus Smart. And Harry Giles at the end right there. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's randomize the 150 points. And we'll see what we're going to do after this. Let's go to ram.org. Let's grab everyone's names from Rick down to Martin. Let's get that in there. And the name on top will get 150. 12 times. Come on, random.org. It's just points. Five, six. And 12th and final time. Leonard, there you go. Consolation prize for you, 150 points coming your way. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.